Ee, değerli Aa. dostlar, e, şimdi Pablo ile beraberiz. Pablo e, şu an İspanya'da ve e, şu anda da kamerayla görüşüyoruz. Az önce nasıl olduğunu sordum sadece e, yapacağımız konuşmadan önce. E, Pablo çok uzun bir süredir evden çıkmıyor. Şimdi onun e, neler hissettiğini e, merak ediyorum. Bunu sormak için de e, kendisiyle görüşüyoruz. Pablo, now... E, I just ask you how are you before the interview but I want to ask you that uh, firstly which city are you in Spain right now for the people uh, to learn and are are you screwed are you okay are you good or bad condition and in the end how are you I want to ask this Okay first of all Hi everyone, fellow Turkish people. <laughs> uh, I'm actually in a medium city in the north of Spain, Caleta Oviedo, okay, in the region of Asturias. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I'm okay. I'm still not infected. Um, you seem you thing. seem pretty healthy. You seem totally yeah. healthy and handsome, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> but but yeah, uh, I'm not infected, and everything, everyone in my family is still okay. But we are very aware that this is a real, a really uh, risky situation right now. This yeah. is not a joke. This is a real health um, uh, disease. Okay, you it's people. A have to yeah. be, it's, it's, it's a, a pandemic. pandemic. You, have, no, yeah. you have to be aware. This is not a joke. This yeah. is not a real, a, a common flu. This is something new that we have to face it. Yeah. Now, like six days ago, uh, in Turkey, uh, the Minister of Health just declared the first case of coronavirus in Turkey. So yeah, we were uh, we were pretty late. Just if you if you how can I say uh, just look at the euro. But uh, now the in this in six days, uh, the the case number is 47 right now in Turkey. But people are uh, I can say. Pretty, I can say that people are afraid, people are panicking right now, and uh, most of the business started to work at home. I want to learn how was Spain. Okay, how was during Spain? these times? Uh, okay, let's go back in time to the 8th of March. Okay. Yeah. 8th of March, you said. 8th of March. Uh, Nine days ago day. from now on. Nine days ago, yeah. uh, International Day for Women. Okay, mm-hmm. the World Health uh, Organization. Okay, yeah, told the government that no mass gatherings, no nothing that uh, implies a big number of people together. Mm-hmm. The government uh, did not uh, did nothing about that, uh, and there were the the, uh, the march for the International Women's Day. Mm-hmm. Uh, that has been the real uh, impact of all this disease because the spread, there were too many the people yeah the, the spread the... yeah there were so many people in every single city of spain together with no um, with no mediums for uh, for the disease like mm-hmm. uh, no mask no gloves nothing at all people from the political parties there and um, the worst thing was like uh, there is a video of a uh, famous uh, TV TV host mm-hmm. that was like okay people go to the street uh, the coronavirus can cannot uh, win um, uh, against what you is, against what, what the, is, what, what wars, the, the violence against women yeah. they were saying things like uh, domestic violence kills more people Yeah, they they thought. I guess they thought uh, virus was a joke. I guess yeah. They thought virus was a joke. Some uh, TV hosts were even lagging and making fun of it. Yeah. And now this is the situation. We are in a lockdown. The government is uh, totally overrun. They are uh, taking action now, but uh, it has been late. Just nine days but, after this uh, yep. call, they the declare ma- from the TV host you say. Yeah. The, how there were how is that TV host months. situation right now? Is he infected or is <laughs> he infected or is he healthy? Uh, those people that were joking about the situation, the, the situation, they are still healthy. Yeah. But uh, it has been confirmed, for example, that the one of the ministers, uh, the, uh, the minister of diversity, okay, Caleta mm-hmm. Irene Montero. Hmm. Was in the first line of the march, the march in, in the eighth of the, the march yeah. in, in the eighth of March movement, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and she's infected. She's infected <laughs> right now. She's infected right now, 
And how the is work, her, her uh, situation? Is she is going good or do you know yeah, any she's, information she's, about she's it? She's going good. Uh, but she's she still young. Yeah, she's, uh, she's young. Um, so it's, she's, she's going to pass. She's going to survive for sure. But the thing is, like, she was irresponsible uh, as long as the other part of the, not the government, you know, the, uh, whoa, sorry. Yeah, yeah, because oh, I, I'm getting really angry thinking about it because this, yeah, is, this I can, is not the I problem. I can understand that. I totally understand this that. Is, yeah, this is not the problem of the government. This has been the problem of the political class right now. Mm. And I don't want to get more into politics, but. You can. You, from, you, you're totally free. You can. No problem. From, from one side of the political views of the uh, of the of the country mm -hmm. they did it wrong with the march yeah um from the other side another political parties they did a, a mass gathering in a place called vista alegre mm -hmm. and uh, one of the um, oh no not one two of the most important people of the political party yeah. are infected right now right now yeah they're infected they they were irresponsible uh, they did it wrong really wrong mm. they cannot uh really <sighs> sorry no just, just I, I, being... I get i, I get yeah. really angry because i totally they were understand irresponsible. I, yeah. they were responsible yeah they had recommendation from the world uh, health organization mm -hmm. to don't get into mass gatherings yeah. march just skip and one year, right? Life. Just just skip that March for one year. Like you can do it next yeah, year, but you can do it like three it, months it, from it, now on. It was political agenda for mm. the government and other uh, political party that was involved. Mm. And mm. now we have uh, this situation uh, from the 8th of March. Uh, people in Madrid, okay, the capital, mm -hmm. were infected, and the and the, and the outbreak started. Yeah. And in the last uh, weekend, the people from Madrid, they took it like, oh, I don't have to go to work. Eh, yeah. I, I'm not going to stay at home. Why we don't travel to the north or to the Mediterranean side of the country? Why not? And they oh the, the, the disease from Madrid, okay, to healthy parts. For example, mm -hmm. in my region, there were only uh, about two cases, yeah, two diagnosticated yeah. cases. Mm -hmm. And if I recall correctly, we are about uh, 200 right now. 200 right now. And 45 um, uh, people from the hospital, okay, nurses, doctors, infected. Yeah. It is amazing that people can yeah. actually think that yeah, all of a sudden there is a holiday nationwide. Yeah. There's a declar declaration of a holiday, so we can travel. No, why I travel? They... <laughs> yeah, uh, and, and I can, and oh, I can send God. you a pic. Uh, I want to send you. Just send me uh, through Discord. Like, the pe I, the, yeah. the people, yeah, from for Discord. Mm -hmm. The people from my from my region, they were aware from the situation. Like, okay, people from Madrid are traveling here, and maybe they are infected. Where are doing that? Why they are doing that? That's so irresponsible. And oh. there were uh, some yeah. some people uh, wrote uh -huh. in papers and pancarts like people from Madrid go home. Yeah, wanna, don't uh, don't come with the viruses. Like, yeah, don't come with the virus. But <laughs> they just... were not only people from Madrid. There were people from all around oh, uh, the country. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that has been the another um, point for the outbreak. Mm. The movement, the movement of the 8th of March, yeah, with with the march for the International Day of Women and the Vista Alegre gathering for the mm -hmm. other polit political party, and the people from Madrid, Catalonia, Basque Country, moving to other places for vacation. Yeah, that has been really responsible. Uh, but not only people from Madrid, uh, yeah. people from from Barcelona, Basque Country, and for example in Galicia, mm. okay, another region really close to, to here. Fact, it is border. Uh -huh. People from Galicia threw stones to people from Madrid that were in, in Actual holiday. Stones, like they. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they threw, threw stones rock, rock. Yeah. stone. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, because they were like, you sick fucks. Yeah, you are uh, traveling from one place that is really infected, and you are coming here. Yeah. And it is, the thing is, out like, of their mind, the, like it is unacceptable yeah. situation. Unacceptable, totally unacceptable. 
Yeah, and the thing is like, okay, in Madrid there are plenty of, of hospitals. They were kind of prepared, mm -hmm. but now those responsible people spread it all around the country, and mm -hmm. there are hospitals in some regions that they are not prepared. That's the thing. And for example, in my region, um, the um, the people is really really old. There is a um, I don't know. I cannot say. In, I don't know the real numbers, but we are one of the more region with most old people. Old people lives in. Yeah. Yeah. It's a gentrified region right now. Yeah. Um, they spread it. So did uh, uh, did anyone uh, one from the government or the local government tell that wh how long it will take this uh, situation uh, going like this or like uh, what do they expect what do they say to you like uh, do they say good things bad news are they hiding bad news do you know do, do you have any idea like this uh, the first days they were like okay it's, it's nothing serious it's just a flu yeah. Um, the Minister of Health, the, the, he was even, not joking, but smiling and laughing like, okay, we have to take it, uh, uh, not not really serious, but we have to... We have to consider. To, to, yeah, we have yeah. to stay calm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, they are not staying calm, because they are not aware that it has been a mess. And the thing is like, uh, right now... Uh, uh, the government is requisitioning gloves and masks for the hospitals from mm. from factories and things. Yeah, because some hospitals, like in Italy, they are running short of gloves, masks, uh, respirators. Of course, this, despite are, of the people, who, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, Despite and of the people who are infected from virus, people yeah. are still need of gloves and masks in yeah. other sicknesses. Um, yeah, and no. It's time to talk about one social problem that you people from Turkey have to be really aware. Okay. Mm. Just please tell me. This weekend, the madness started with people uh, hoarding the supermarkets. Yeah. Really hoarding. Like, one people taking, like, uh, I don't know, 50 kilos of rice for Ooh, himself. Yeah. Or hoarding to toilet paper. No, mm. please don't hoard toilet paper. Pretty reasonable, like, okay, maybe with uh, six rolls, I can go a week. Yeah. Just take one. Yeah. Don't hoard, because you are not aware that the old people are the most vulnerable right now. Because they are taking a real risk to go, just with the simple act of go to buy. They are taking mm. the risk. Uh, there, there has been even, even fights in the supermarkets. Not like in the movies, but some fights. Um, there has been what, what do you mean uh, the same fights? Like an argument? like a, Or like an actual physical yeah, fight, you uh, say? Some arguments and in other cases, uh, physical, yeah. Oh my god. They are physical. And the things like, be reasonable. Don't hoard. Just planify what you need, maybe for a week, and buy it and don't leave your home for a week. Stay mm as long as possible in your home because now we are in a quarantine from sunday i have been in my home today is uh, tuesday with the information yep. that i have to give you yeah. I, I leave my my home on sunday to give my grandma who is 95 years old uh, food only that yeah. and i did and I, and I went to to the place where she's staying right now mm -hmm. by car not walking and you thing. have you have a, a lovely uh, long live uh, grandmother who uh, is 95 years old. 95 uh, years old. Yeah. Do, do you have any precautions that you take? Do you have uh, what what do you do about it for for your Social. lovely grandmother? The first uh, thing we are doing is like not touching. No, we are not kissing her. Like keeping a distance mm -hmm. because <laughs> she can die if if she get the the virus can die so keeping a distance uh, not touching not kissing her and the first and most important thing clean your hands before leaving your house and at the very first time you arrive at home you have to clean your hands 
not taking off the shoes or the groceries. No, no, no. Clean your hands for 30 seconds with hot water and soap or if you have disinfectant gel. Mm -hmm. But the cleaning is the most important thing you have to do right now with, with this situation of the COVID. When you think, like, they, it just happened in two weeks, right? Yep, in two weeks. Yeah, that's why <laughs> I want to uh, just just make people raise awareness about this. Like, the in also in Turkey, people are now just taking precautions and uh, just they, like you said, just they just washing their hands and they just trying to uh, stay the personal space between people. And, but now, now people are not that much of aware that the the situation that you say was not like this like two weeks ago two yeah. weeks ago, now one, one and a half week how much like yeah. one and a half weeks ago it's but not like the... one year ago or like ten years ago it's weeks. one weeks or two weeks ago it's nothing but but we have to remember that two weeks maybe three weeks ago we were lagging up the jokes for the coronavirus and that stuff and now yeah. it's here. And now we are we are in a quarantine, and now people are dying. Not all people, young people. For example, uh, one uh, one lad from Malaga uh, died, uh, and he was uh, I don't know, 21, 22 years oh, old. But he's so young. Cool. He had leukemia. For example, he was at risk. He got yeah. it and died. Other people, like uh, below uh, 30 years old, they are in the intensive care right now because mm -hmm. they are having real issues uh, for for just for breath yeah and i want to ask another thing pablo how is the hospital situation in spain like the capacities are okay capacities like over uh, over capacity of the situation the medicine and the healthcare like doctors and nurses are enough or not uh, i want to ask this the first thing uh, i want to say is thank you for all the people working in the hospitals because yeah. those are the real ones that, is, they, that they are going to save us. Not the politicians, not the footballists, <laughs> not the famous people. Those are the real heroes with the people who, are, who is right now uh, working at the supermarkets. About the hospitals, uh, it depends of the region. As I told you before, uh, there are regions in Spain that the hospitals are really old or they don't have a... Uh, uh, intensive care units mm. enough for the people but as, a, as, a, as long as I can say in my region uh, the intensive care is, is okay it's not overwhelmed yet but uh, the people working there are starting uh, to get tired because they are working non-stop for example as I told you before too there were hospitals in Madrid that they were running short of gloves, masks, mm -hmm. um, and people are giving the gloves or uh, or even the government requisitioning. training. Uh, and there is a movement right now for people with the uh, 3D printers, you know, oh, yeah. the plastic 3D printers, to print the bulbs, okay, for the mm -hmm. respirators. Mm. It, uh, it, is it working? Like, are they successful, yeah. like, printing it? Yeah. I don't have one printer, but I pass the information for mm -hmm. uh, to some friends that they have the printers, and I think that uh, it's gonna happen. People printing the bulbs in their home to give yeah. to the hospital. Yeah. Uh, for example, I have a friend from Pamplona, hmm. okay, that uh, he has a informatic uh, repair shop and he has uh, enough plastic to print a lot of bulbs, and it's uh, no really aware of that situation and, and it's, it's, it's just waiting for the, not the government, the people who are making the, this movement to print a lot of bulbs. Once uh, the situation is, is going to get so worse in Turkey, okay, mm -hmm. you people, if you don't take uh, this serious, they are go you're gonna, you are going to be like, like us right now. So uh, help as, as much as you can with uh, with the hospitals, with the people working in in, in in intensive care, uh, resupplying the the supermarkets. Do you have any uh, suggestion, like in general, like you mentioned part by part, but uh, we can we can hear like this from you? Okay, first first thing of all, take it serious. This is a pandemic, so 
this is not a joke, this is not a, a common flu. Yeah. Second thing is like, wash your hands. Have a have a protocol for uh, keeping uh, your hands, clothes, and everything clean. Stay away from people. Keep a uh, safe distance from a meter or, or like that. Because uh, in Spain, the last weekend, people were like still too close to each other in the queues, and now they are taking the the safe distance, like one meter and uh, not more than ten people or, or a number like that uh, uh, uh, in the stores. Um, th the third thing is. If you people get a quarantine too, stay the fuck at home. Because some people here are uh, taking the the chance. It's like, oh, I have a dog. I can go out with him, so the dog can can poo. Uh, the thing, yeah. uh, they are they are running with the dog because they are runners that are running right now in the streets mm -hmm. with this thing, with the dog. Because uh, right now, the we are in a um, in a exceptional situation here in Spain, and you can only go out from your home to work if you have to work. For example, uh, mechanical workshops, uh, industries, pharmacies, uh, pharmacies, uh, supermarkets. Those people, they they still have to go to go to. They ha they still have to go to work, but they have to print a paper to show to the authorities. Not only the the police, military police. Okay, military. that is called. Oh. Guardia, it's called Guardia Civil here, and the military, and the military uh, emergency unit. And they have having people uh, posting papers on, on their buildings, like, uh, if you need to go to the supermarket, but uh, you are old or you cannot go because you are disabled, please uh, write to this number because I'm willing to go to the supermarket to buy groceries for you. Pablo, I can say that you look really healthy, I'm sure that you will stay looking healthy and thank you very much for uh, just sparing this time. I uh, I can guess that you have a lot of time. <laughs> you know, I too much, too too much, much, too much, too much time. time. time I'm all. working I'm working now in in classify my my vinyl collection right now. Your because, vinyl uh, collection, but you cannot collect outside, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> And I want to thank you. I want to thank you also, like having this time, just uh, raising awareness for the. <laughs> I have for, plenty uh, of time right now. Yeah, that's <laughs> Pablo, thank you very much. Uh, now uh, I will thank say you. something in Turkish, and I will uh, come back to you. Değerli dostlar, Pablo'yu dinlediniz. İspanya'daki durumu anlattı. Madrid'deki durumu, e, durumlar sıkıntı. Önlemlerimizi alalım. Bir uzun olmadığı için herhangi bir şey söylemiyorum. Ee, ama sadece çok değil yani. Yalnızca iki hafta önce olanları Pablo'dan dinlediniz. Ee, önlemlerimizi alıyoruz. Elimizi yıkıyoruz. Hoşçakalın.